This is Pastor Chipman. Welcome to the second St. John telecast where we're in a segment called Home Daily Bible Reading. That's right. We're in our Home Daily Bible Reading for today. And I thank God for all those who are joining us. If you're joining, joining us for the first time, I thank you and I welcome you uh, to this telecast where we study the Word of God. Uh, we have a very special session today. Our subject today is the house of the Lord. Our subject today is the house of the Lord. We're going to be coming from the 122nd number of Psalms, the book of Psalms in the Old Testament, the 122nd Psalms. Amen. Uh, we bring you greetings from the Second St. John Church right here in West Memphis, Arkansas. We're located 305 Ingram Boulevard, and we welcome you to come to Sunday morning worship. Our Sunday morning worship starts off with our Sunday morning Bible study that takes place at 9 a.m., and you are very welcome to come. Men study together as a group, women study together as a group, 
and we have young people uh, who are able to study together as well. And I invite you to come to that Sunday morning Bible study with us at 9 a.m. in person every Sunday morning, 305 Ingram Boulevard at the Second St. John Church. Now at 1015 a.m., we start our worship service, 1015 a.m. worship service. I'm trying to say it so that you will remember uh, to come Sunday mornings at 1015 a.m., to our worship service. We would love to have you to come and worship the Lord with us. Now, upon entry, we are doing a safe entry uh, in accordance with this pandemic. And we are asking you to allow us to receive your temperature. All you do is stand in front of a, of a thermometer and it reads digitally your body temperature. We're also uh, asking you to sanitize your hands upon entry, to wear a facial mask, and to social distance. And we're asking you to do that upon entry, and we would very much appreciate it, if not for yourself, so that others will be safe. And you're welcome to come and worship with us in the sanctuary. Uh, like I've said before, we have a moderate audience right now in the sanctuary, and we have plenty of room for others in a safe and effective way. Uh, we thank God for those who are coming and we desire that others may come and give their life to Christ. Again, if you want to reach me, you can call the telephone number right here on the screen, 870-735-6300. That is my office number, the office of the pastor. You can call me at that number and I will gladly receive your message. As I'm in the studio right now making this recording, I will not answer, but you can leave your name and your telephone number, and I will gladly get back with you. So thank you again for joining, and let's get ready to go right into our Bible study. Uh, let me give this special uh, recognition uh, to Brother Lee Williams, a man, part of the spiritual QCs, and uh, we thank God for him and the gift that God has given him to inspire the body of Christ. Amen. We know that he has made his transition. And amen. We just wanted to recognize him uh, as we have played his song upon the introduction of this segment of our study. Uh, uh, we're, we do not own the rights to that music. Amen. It belongs to uh, Lee Williams and that gospel organization. But man, what a mighty... Uh, blessing the gift of Lee Williams was to the body of Christ and we just thank God to have enjoyed his music amen it, it is a uh, great work great work great work great work we're truly going to miss brother Lee Williams amen now let us get ready to go into our study and we always start our study off with prayer and we're going to study for the next 30 minutes you're going to be in the Bible study with me, the 122nd number of Psalms. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you knowing that you are Almighty God, knowing that you sit high, knowing that you look low, knowing that you're everywhere all at the same time. Lord, we give your name all the glory, all the honor, and every bit of the praise. Lord, we know you as Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jehovah Tzitkanu, our righteousness. We know you as El Shaddai, the Almighty God. Lord, we know you know all things. That Lord, that there's nothing, Heavenly Father, that you do not know. Lord, we know, Heavenly Father, you are the architect of this universe. Lord, we know that you are our Savior. You are our leader. You are our guide. And we thank you, Lord, for giving us, Lord, a spirit to worship you. Lord, we ask you today to forgive us of our sins as we forgive those that have sinned against us. Lord, we ask you today to save the lost, oh God, if there be any that are listening in this program, Lord, save them. Give them a word from on high, Lord, that they will elect Jesus, select Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're healing bodies even now, Lord, that you're healing from cancer, that you're healing, Lord, from kidney failure, Lord, that you're healing from diabetes, Lord, that you're healing from high blood pressure, Lord, that you're healing 
from mental stress and disorder, oh God. Lord, we thank you that you're regulating us today. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're healing, uh, Lord, Lord, heart problems, oh God, that you're going inside of backs and repairing back problems, oh God, that you're giving vision and sight to those who cannot see. Lord, we believe that you are a doctor, a healer. Lord, we thank you for what you're about to do in us. Lord, work a work, Lord, that this world may know you as their savior. Now, Lord, as we study this word, oh God, give us above all understanding, give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we may be able to impart your word to others as well as use it for ourselves. We thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. And the song that Lee Williams sung was so inspiring to me after the testimony that I gave on Sunday. Uh, amen. About my father. I thank God for what the Lord has done. Amen. For many who were not aware, uh, amen, on last week, uh, on, earlier this week, my father was sent home on hospice, but God has turned that around, completely around. It is amazing. It is a miracle. So if you have the opportunity, look at Sunday's message, Jesus, the rock is Jesus. Uh, it is currently on Facebook and YouTube. Just search for my name, Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, Stephen Chitman on YouTube and you will find the sermon, The Rock is Jesus. Take a listen to that testimony about how God turned uh, my father's illness around. Amen. Sent home on hospice, couldn't eat, couldn't drink. Amen. He was literally sent home to die, but God said different and turned it around. Amen. Praise the Lord. And there's nothing you can do to take away my testimony about the goodness of God. Amen. We're praying for many of those who've lost loved ones. I'm praying for uh, my sister-in-law, uh, Mrs. Amber Gis. Amen. We're praying for her. Amen. We're praying for others that have lost loved ones on this week. Amen. We're praying that God will fill of those empty spaces with his love, with his peace, and with his joy, and that he will strengthen you to continue to march on. Amen. And give God glory, honor, and praise. I thank you, amen, and amen. You know, in order to be with the Lord, we do have to make transitions. And I'm not saying that I'm going to stay here forever. Whenever God calls, we have to answer. So it's it's best to be prepared to answer his call. Amen. Let us go to the 122nd number of Psalms as we get ready to study this lesson. I want you to know that this month's uh, unit topic is uh, God's people offer praise. God's people offer praise. And that's come, coming from the Sunday School uh, Quarterly, uh, put out by the Sunday School Publishing Board right out of Nashville, Tennessee. Amen. The unit topic is God's people offer praise. And our lesson tonight is the house of the Lord, 122nd number of Psalms. And I'm going to be reading from the King James Version of the Bible on this evening. Let's go there. All right, you're here. I'm here. And it ain't nothing you can do about it. Amen. It ain't nothing you can do about it. Amen. We're here together. Amen. Ready to get into the Word of God. Amen. Let's get in here and read these verses, the entirety, 122nd number of Psalms in its entirety. You read, you can see it on the screen, and I'll read it out aloud uh, as we go to the Bible. Verse number one, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is builded as a city that is compact together. Whether the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord unto the testimony of Israel to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. 
Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sakes, I will now say, Peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Amen, amen. That's the word of God for the people of God. I want you to hear it in the, uh, in the Message Bible. Let's go there. In the Message Bible, the 122nd number of Psalms in its entirety, written in a language that, that is more equivalent to the way that we talk. When they say it, let's go into the house of God, my heart leaped for joy. And now we're here. O Jerusalem, inside Jerusalem's walls. Jerusalem, well-built city, built as a place for worship, the city to which the tribes ascend. All God's tribes go up to worship, to give thanks to the name of God. This is what it means to be Israel. Thrones for righteous judgment are set there, famous David thrones. Pray for Jerusalem's peace, prosperity to all you Jerusalem lovers. Friendly insiders, get along. Hostile outsiders, keep your distance. For the sake of my family and friends, I say it again. Live in peace for the sake of the house of our God. God, I'll do my very best for you. Amen. That's the word of God for the people of God out of the Message Bible. This is the 122nd number of Psalms. Amen. And again, our lesson is entitled, uh, entitled, The House of the Lord. The House of the Lord. Amen. This is very interesting. Amen. This is known, amen, as a song of ascent. Amen. A song of ascent or a praise of ascent, meaning to ascend upwards. Amen. This is as a visitor is invited, amen, to come uh, to the house of the Lord as he's getting ready to enter uh, the city of Jerusalem. Amen. And we know that the temple has a 15 step uh, ascent to the temple, 15 step ascent unto the temple. Amen. These songs of ascent, this is accredited to David. These songs of ascent, meaning to go upward or to go up to, amen. They were, amen, uh, songs that were sung from the 120 number of Psalms all the way to the 134th number of songs, 15 steps, 15 songs of ascent amen i want to go back and take a look and let you see the subtopic of the verse that we were reading a pilgrim song of david now pilgrim means traveler the word pilgrim, when you see it in biblical text, it means a traveler. In the King James, it's a song of degrees of David, the 122nd number of Tom, Psalms, subtopic, a song of degrees. Each step was a degree up toward the temple. Amen. And I wanted you to see that from, a ver from Psalms 120, all the way through Psalms 134, they're known as a song of degrees or a song of ascent. And they would sing songs as they went up to the temple in Jerusalem. Now let's get back and talk about uh, these verses. Uh, in, in the King James, this is, I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. Uh, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Now, those first two verses uh, talks about the joy 
of their arrival at Jerusalem. We know that the different tribes and the different uh, children of Israel would travel uh, to Jerusalem uh, to at least three annual feasts. They would make a pilgrimage, and to be a pilgrim is to be a traveler. So, so as they made their ascent, because this was a mountainous uh, country, uh, as they made their climb up uh, to the city of Jerusalem to worship three times annually at least, all of the different tribes, no matter where they were scattered and where they were abroad, they would make their way to the temple at least, at least three times a year. And this uh, uh, David is writing here and he's talking as I was glad when they said unto me, somebody's asking me, let's go into the house of the Lord. They're inviting someone to go. And the house of the Lord is certainly meant to be the temple. Come on, let's go into the temple. And the purpose of going into the temple of course, is to worship the Lord. And the person to whom they're talking says, our feet, then all of a sudden, they arrive at the temple within the gates, old Jerusalem. They arrive at the place of meeting where true worship is going to take place. All right, so they have arrived, amen. Then verses three through five, they talk about how unified and, and the place of unity it talks about how Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. Whether the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. All right, all right, all right. This is, this is uh, where they're going up together. They're, they're showing unity. All of the tribes are coming together. The city is built uh, built together. It is designed in such a way that it is all together. And the tribes go up and they go the, 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 until the testimony of Israel. They're literally talking about the Ark of the Covenant to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. Amen. So they, they're coming together for the purpose of worshiping God, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. And one of the things that we must do when we come to worship is to give thanks unto God. We're literally coming to express to God what he means to us. And unless we do that, we truly have not worshiped. I've heard so many things that people say when they go to church or come to church, and it is a place of worship. It is uh, uh, a house of prayer uh, where we send up praise and worship to God. And to worship is to literally tell God what he means to you. Lord, you're my everything. Lord, you're my strength. You, Lord, you're my everything. You're my source, Lord. Lord, you're, you, you know, why we talk about you, Lord, you're my battle axe in the time of battle, in time of war. Lord, you're bread food on an empty table. Lord, you're my provision. And so you got to tell God what he means to you in worship. Worship goes beyond praise because praise, uh, amen, literally is to lift up and we lift up the name of God. And, and we can do that with scripture that's written right here in the Bible. But when you really go over into worship, you tell God exactly what he means to you. And today, amen, he may mean uh, this and that to you. And tomorrow he may mean that and the other to you. But to truly be in worship, you need to know to let God know what he means to you. So uh, this person uh, in this particular text has been invited to come up to the temple and then literally upon the pilgrimage uh, they ascend, they've come into the gates of the city of Jerusalem, which was put together compact in such a way that it was a perfect place to worship the name of the Lord. Amen, amen. They, 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 it, it is the bonds of unity, even though, amen, and, and we think sometimes unity means uniform, 
But unity does not mean everybody has to dress the same. Unity does not exactly mean uniform, amen, because there were 12 tribes of Israel and each of them had different types of identities. Of course, we all know of an obvious one, and that was Jude, amen, the tribe uh, whose name literally meant praise, amen. So the, the tribe of Judah, amen, the tribe that was uh, to praise God or were praisers of the Lord, amen. So, so, so we know that there were differences in the tribes, but they were in unity as they worship God. And, and it was a city that was built, amen, or rebuilt, amen, for the purpose of the worship of God. And the throne of the house of David was there. Amen. Let us continue. Let us continue. I hope you're getting a little bit out of our lesson tonight. We're talking about the house of the Lord. This is the house that God designed. Amen. Amen even though it had different parts. See, let's talk about the tabernacle because see, all of these things fit together. Even though the tabernacle was two different uh, compartments, there was the holy place and then there was the holy of holies. But the way that the tent was built, it was all to be one. It was, it was all one place, but there was a division within the place, the holy of holies where the high priest could only go the only one who could go there and he only went one time a year but the place was built for the worship of god that brings unity that brings unity and there was also a man of the vision of peace in this place it says in verse six uh through nine it says uh it says right here pray for the peace of jerusalem it says uh we are to pray for the peace of jerusalem i told you the, the house of the Lord is also called a house of prayer. And we know that prayer is our communication line with God. It says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Literally in my prayers, uh, you will hear me sometimes insert, Lord, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And that word Salem at the end of Jerusalem is literally the word peace. So it is literally was supposed to be a city of peace. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And of course, we know that there's been so many things that have happened in Jerusalem. But when Jesus makes his return and takes over the reins, it will be a city of peace. And it says that when we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, they shall prosper that love thee. They, the people who pray for the peace of Jerusalem, shall prosper that love them. Peace be within thy walls is what we're supposed to pray for for Jerusalem and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sakes, I will now say, peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek thy good. He said, because the, the temple that's dedicated to God is there, he will pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Because the house of the Lord our God is there, and I will seek thy good. See, uh, some places that we have should be sacred. Mm, mm. I remember in the Old Testament, uh, I studied, uh, while I was studying in seminary, we studied about the city of refuge. City of refuge was a place that you could go where you could find uh, refuge uh, from your enemies and they could not touch you. It was a safe place. <laughs> it was a place of safety and protection. In other words, once you reach the city of refuge, your enemies could not come in and touch you. So we talked about a man in seminary, places called cities of refuge. And literally God is our refuge. It used to be thought that uh, when you arrived at church, that was a place of refuge, a place of safety. And it used to be off limits to so many things and so many activities that occur in the streets. Amen. 
uh, they would be off limits in the house of God. Amen. You were to find peace and harmony in the place of God. Amen. So there's a lot of things that we do, amen, that bring about strife and division that should be off limits in the house of God. It should be a place of refuge. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. It should be off limits to so much stuff that goes on. Amen. Amen. You should allow people to meditate and worship God in spirit and in truth without confusion, malice, content, trickery, all that has no place in the house of God. Amen. And we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We should pray for the peace of the church. We should pray for prosperity in the church. We should pray for our brothers and sisters in the church. And we should pray and seek the good of God be carried out, not only in the temple, not only in Jerusalem, but in the church and in our homes and in our families and in the world at large. Amen. That is, that is such a blessing. That is such a blessing. And finally, he ends this psalm by talking about uh, what Jerusalem was to the Israelite, amen, and what it, we can see what it means also uh, to us, because he says, for my brother and companion's sakes, I will now say, peace be within thee, because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. So the importance of Jerusalem was they came together. And when they came together, brethren, companions, when they came together, he said, seek peace within yourselves. Seek peace between each other. Amen. Seek unity between each other. And because you're in the house of the Lord, you're in a holy place serving a holy God. Seek peace and the welfare of each other in the house of the Lord. Uh, we're talking about the house of the Lord and we've been uh, talking for a few moments. I, I pray that you have gleaned uh, something from the word of God as we spoke today. Amen. Remember the house of the Lord is a sanctified place. It is a set apart place for the worship of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, I, it says uh, uh, when we first started off here we started talking about uh, going into the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. When I was invited up to the temple to worship God, I was glad to come into his presence because in his presence is fullness of joy. Amen. Amen. The church is not a plaything. It's not a place. You know, people talk about the church so badly now. Amen. They talk about uh, what we do in church. They talk about how we do what we do in church. And yet they do not attend church and they do not come to church. Amen. But I just want to thank God. Amen. That when we do come, we can be in his presence and we can praise God. Amen. Literally, our unit today is is uh, 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 offering uh, blessings unto God. Our unit subject is uh, God's people offer praise and praise. We are in the book of Psalms and literally it spells Psalms, P-S-A-L-M, but it literally is a S-O-N-G song. Amen. Uh, you know, so many people write songs, but there are songs right here in the scripture, especially in the book of Psalms, P-S-A-L-M-S. In the book of Psalms, there are S-O-N-G-S, songs that, that they sung unto God. They literally praised God, spoke well of God. That's the way we lift God up. We brag, literally boast in the Lord. Literally, I didn't say boast on myself. I said boast in the Lord. My God is great and worthy 
to be praised. My God is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I'm boasting in the Lord. My God is awesome and wonderful and mighty is our God. He is uh, a man. He made us a royal priesthood. And in order to do that, he had to be a king. Amen. Because nothing is royalty except that that belongs to a king. So I thank God uh, for him being who he is. There's so much to glean uh, from the lessons. Amen. I'm stretching myself because I'm going to do these home daily Bible readings out of the Sunday School Bible quarterly. And I'm not just sticking with familiar scriptures that I know everything about because they cause me to study and broaden my perspectives of God. You want to know God. Amen. God is in all and through all. Amen. In order to know about God, you have to expose yourself to different things. Amen. To know him. Amen. You got to know all about him. I mean, I mean, when you go into relationships with people in order to know more about them, you have to spend time with them amen you have to go places with them you have to take them with you or go with them amen listen to what i said i'm talking about developing a relationship you have to communicate with them you have to speak to them you have to think about them amen amen that's the way we develop a relationship with god we talk with god amen through prayer of course the bible tells us he hears every idle word every word that proceeded out of our mouth God hears everything we say, literally everything we say is a prayer. Amen, 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 amen. Everything literally is when you recognize that God hears us when we speak and when we talk. So we have to be careful about the way we talk and the way we speak to people. Amen. He literally knows our thoughts. God knows even our thoughts. Amen. And when we have those thoughts that go contrary to the word of God. The Bible talks about how that we can capture those thoughts and bring them under subjection, put them under the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I know you may think I'm all over the place, but we're talking about the house of the Lord. What joy it brought to arrive at the city where the temple of the Lord was for the purpose of worship. Amen. This is the 122nd number of Psalms. It is a song of degrees. Amen. Literally when they made their pilgrimage, their travel to the temple coming from various locations, they made their way up that mount to the temple of the Lord. They literally sung songs, 120 number of Psalms all the way to the 134th number of Psalms is known as songs of degrees, meaning increments, steps. And there were literally about 15 steps uh, to arrive in the temple. So thank God for you today. I pray that you've learned something about the house of the Lord the purpose of the house of the Lord is to bring us into unity, not just uniform, wearing all the same shirts with the same writing on them, but to bring us into unity in the worship of our God. Amen. He can change hearts and minds. He can heal the sick. He can uh, feed the hungry. Amen. He can put an end to trouble minds. Amen. He can heal sick bodies. God is a counselor and he's wonderful. He's an awesome God. Thank you for listening today. As we get ready to leave, remember, amen, we have a slogan at Second St. John. Just do it how God's way. And remember, it's been a plum pleasing pleasure. I am Pastor Stephen Chitman. Join us again on next time. And I thank you. And remember, come worship with us Sunday, 9 a.m. Sunday morning Bible study and 10, 15 a.m. Sunday morning worship service. Amen. Come be with us. I want you to be there. God bless you. See you next time.
Now I know this will record. <laughs> mm. But God has been good. Thought one time we wasn't going to get through this. Satan, you're alive. 